assuming you have downloaded the Xcode, mine is in beta version as you can see here, I still have my Xcode 11 also on my Mac. So once you have this beta version, you can use the, the beta version and the normal version of Xcode uh, simultaneously. So make sure if you are using the beta, you still have your Xcode current proper version of Xcode because apparently with beta version, you cannot submit anything to App Store if you want to. So if you are using beta, there is no need to uninstall your current version of Xcode. So open the Xcode project and uh, here we can go to new project and let me move my window here so you can see you can go to file and then you say new project and what we are interested in is iOS project and we're just going to select this application, which is an empty application. Click next, give it a name. I'm going to call mine, um, I don't know, messenger. And then here you can choose the team of the developer account you have. Your uh, organization identifier is just the reverse of your web domain if you have one. And interface, we're going to choose a storyboard for this. Uh, UI kit here, language Swift. We're not going to use core data or I'm not going to include user testing as well. So let's create next. I'm going to save mine on my desktop and create Git repository on my Mac. I'm going to keep it ticked and let's create the project. So this is our project. On the top level, you can see the name of application, some identifier information then the deployment information. It's uh, by default iOS 14 on Xcode 12. And some orientation, what we are going to support. We're not going to change any of these. Let's just quickly look around what Xcode is giving us. So on the left side, we have all these panels. We have our pre-installed uh, ready files, app delegate, scene delegate this view controller that we get by default from Apple. And let's just quickly run our project to make sure everything is properly working. So this is my iPhone 11 Pro running on iOS 14. And on the right side, I have iOS 11 Pro, uh, but this is iPhone 11 Pro, but this is running on iOS 13.6. I have the ready application here, just so you can see what we are going to do step by step. Let's see uh, in our current running application, we are just going to see a white screen here. And everything is running properly, which is good. Now, um, I'm going to close both of them because we are not going to do anything yet. We need to install some third party libraries that we are going to use. It's just to set up a project part. And yeah, in next lecture, we are going to use our CocoaPods to install the third party libraries that is needed for our course.